morning everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. And I was at my garden early this morning. And actually I was there for about two hours pulling weeds and trying to clean it up a bit. Now normally I could leave and I would leave the weeds until next spring and clean it up then. But I did want to replant. I want to clean up a patch at least and when you do that you pretty much clean up the whole thing. But I want to uh, replant some of that garlic that I harvested not too long ago. And so I have to prepare the ground to be able to take a, a good um, amount of that uh, garlic and to be ready to plant it for October. Now October is not that long, not that far away. So that is the time that you plant it here in zone five. So. I'm told, yeah, wait till one of the coldest days in October and then plant it. <laughs> uh, and that is from people who are very successful at growing garlic. Uh, that was the instruction I was given. And it worked out quite well because I had a good harvest this year. So, Okay, a couple of topics that I wish to touch on today. One of them being, okay, it's probably old news by now, at least a few days, is that a young boy who was sent home in Colorado, he was sent home from school because he had the Gadsden, is it called Gadsden, flag on his backpack. He was told that this was a racist symbol and he shouldn't uh, be promoting racist ideals. And uh, he was uh, sent home. And it took the mother correcting or schooling these teachers and explaining to them what that flag actually meant and that it had absolutely nothing to do with racism uh, before the boy was allowed to go back to school the school stood corrected and uh, kudos to the mom to stand up for her son I think a lot more of that has to happen it's an absolute shame that that child was sent home from school for some ridiculous ideology that wasn't even factual. It was somebody's idea that something was wrong. They didn't even verify before the ch young child was penalized. Come on, folks, give it a rest. Okay, that the stupidity of some people is just beyond belief. And speaking of stupidity, another topic, <laughs> another couple of topics actually. Uh, the next one being the uh, climate activists blockading the road for the Burning Man event. Believing because they are protesters that they have every right to disrupt other people's lives and make other people unhappy just because they choose to. Come on guys, give it a rest. Go back to your mother's basement if you can't do any better than that. So I think along with a whole bunch of other people, I went yay to the individuals in the truck who pushed aside the barrier and arrested these non-violent children. Okay, you have an argument to put forward. Well, learn how to present your argument. Don't think that you can just get attention by making somebody else's life unbearable and, and that that's okay and that means that your message will get across. Gluing yourself to the floor or to the wall or throwing paint at a precious painting or whatever stupid moves that you people think you're doing, yeah, maybe you're getting attention, but um, it's not the attention you want. <laughs> so I, su I suggest that you learn how to present a valid argument. And when you can do that, perhaps you'll actually have a voice instead of just be arrested and kicked off to the side, because right now that's all you deserve, is to be pushed off to the side and ignored. And your message is totally ignored because of your own stupidity. So grow up. Okay, women's sports are for women. 
not for those who identify as women. You can't erase discrimination for one group by discriminating a second group. You can't erase the reality of women by promoting transgenderism. Women are women and girls are here to stay. We aren't going anywhere. So, hey guys, get real. Do you really want your sister or your mother or your daughter to have to deal with that? And the height of stupidity, Canada issuing a travel warning for LGBTQ plus peoples for traveling to the U.S. Why? Because some states have enacted certain laws. I don't understand how uh, some travelers to the U.S. are affected because some states have banned story hour, drag queen story hour and things of that nature. What's that got to do with a visitor to the U.S.? Um, it is a virtue signaling at its best. That's what Canada knows how to do. Anyway, I understand that no member of that community has complained about how they're treated when they've gone to the U.S., so it's all nonsense. Um, maybe one day when we've all had enough of this stuff, we can go back to being real. At what point are people going to say enough is enough? You know, I'm glad my girls are grown up, but they've got girls of their own, so that is mostly for them to have to deal with at this point and not me, but uh, I think they're doing okay so far. I think that they will look after their own children's interests and not let the um, country decide how they should be raised, not let the schools decide that, and I think that they are close enough to their own children that there is no hiding anything from mom because mom may disapprove. No, they're very tight and uh, that's always a good thing. Anyway, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and Hopefully the next one will not be such a tough subject. Anyway, have a great day.